This is the Benjamin Zulu Global. Welcome our viewers from all over the world to the home of the heart months. We are converging to learn together because when you know better, you can do better. And a better life is what we all want. Better work life, better family life, better personal life. Hi guys, welcome to the Benjamin Zulu Show. My name is Lily. On this episode, we are talking about how office assistants and house helps can be your spouse's side dishes for years without your knowledge. Ume, what today? <laughs> What's the temperature today? <laughs> yeah, and it, it sounds staggering, uh -huh. but it happens. Yes, it does. One, one of the problems we have is that we, we, we marry people assuming they have the level of dignity, character, and self-respect like we have. And the biggest problem, we're asking why. Why does that thing happen? And one of the problems is you marry a person without measuring the level of self-respect and dignity. Because that's the only question here. Mm -hmm. the, we are not saying these people are lesser people or anything like that. We're talking about cheating. I'm talking about them cheating with a person whom they have, the person who is assisting you as a family. Yeah. And going behind to, you know, uh, cheat on you with the very people who can see you every day. You know, it's a special kind of disrespect. Yeah. When people can see you and they're laughing at you quietly. And humiliation. You know. Yeah. And when you, when you come to discover it, you, you sit there with a torment. How many times you were made to look like a fool? How many times you, you walked around and people are just thinking, if this one knew? I mean, t that, that kind of atmosphere is what we want to bring out today because there is no affair that is good. But some affairs have come as a package. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Not uh -huh. just the pain of betrayal, mm -hmm. but with whom? Yes. <laughs> they betrayed you. Yes. <laughs> the audacity. There are some elements people throw in when they are yeah. cheating on you to communicate something else. Yes. Like you discuss something and you were supposed to do something together and they do it with this person. Yes. And so what is the first, the first reason is, Many times when we are getting married, we are very naive about what character means and the things that make for character. Okay. And I saw a phrase uh, in the Bible saying, by these things men live. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to know by what things people live. Okay. If you don't, you will see people the way you are. If you can't do that, you'll also assume. Nobody can do that. <laughs> <laughs> Especially the person I've yes. chosen. You'll assume he can... When you, when you love, when you fall in love, your love clouds you to add discounted good qualities to the person you like. Him. Yes. And you see them, research, research shows that when you crush on a person, you find them 70% more attractive than a person who does not have a crush on them. So <laughs> now that you know your love is adding the person 70%. <laughs> hey, hey. It's glorifying them. Yeah, we are doomed. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. That atmosphere of likability is hypnotizing. Can it stupefy you mm -hmm. until you don't see the first thing that will cause this, this thing to run on for a very long time? Because you assume this person to be who they are not. In fact, those people whom you come to discover later, they just tell you one thing. You don't know your man. Where? That's... <laughs> <laughs> you don't know your man. <laughs> it's so, such an insult. The person you have married and committed your life. Yeah. A person who has evidence that you don't know them. You know, there's even this phenomenon where people say the guards know your person and the people they come with, but they can't tell you because you don't say hello to them. Yeah. You've heard of that? Yes. And, and they just want, to, you know, they have to be polite for the sake of their job. And but they pity you. Yeah. <laughs> you know? So now we are moving past that guard or that worker at home seeing the partner come with a person to, to them being the person that yes, they your are person coming to. <laughs> are you getting the degree? I, I, I mean, I, I, are you counting the levels of disrespect this person is descending to? So the first reason this thing happened, you married a person you did not know. Okay. And one of the, it's so common in society and it's so sad. People are encouraged to, ma 
to marry, getting to love things directly away it's the moment they're out of home when they're still teenager or what it's all new in life book somebody there's such a pressure to book campaign mm. to bring another person who has a degree like yours there's such a mm. pressure to settle to show that you are normal get children when you are young everything is telling people to move to these things yeah there's such a pressure in that space yeah and because i know what can go wrong i've seen it i'm doing body count you know i'm like doing morticia <laughs> When relationships have torn people apart, I'm the one who's called upon. I mean, that profession that you are the ones doing the damage. We are keeping the tour. <laughs> <laughs> you lost me at body count. <laughs> it's that bad. I tell you, just this morning, a lady told me she was, she was vibrant and growing and having a life. She graduated, was having a career until she got into the wrong relationship, and she was like this oh to hospitalization wheelchair now she has a Whoa. gap in her cv and she's just turning that so now you know what period of relationship you're talking about right yes the young age i've been <laughs> warning people about yeah and because you don't know life this is also a group that i've noticed is very staggeringly naive 26 i don't know what is it 26 <laughs> but i came to find they think they're mature <laughs> so <laughs> they think they're late 26 as we're thinking well, he said over 25, so that's <laughs> not... <laughs> today's your day, 26 years. <laughs> they are uh -huh. reporting such degrees of naivety. You look for it. Where is this coming from? Why are you rushing? Why are you overlooking? Red Why are you even typing me paragraphs of all oh, the mistreatments you're going through and this relationship? <laughs> this is not marriage. Why is why, why this? Sometimes you feel... Oh, no, wait. Are you, okay? are you normal? Why are you typing paragraphs pa complaining to me? Are you tied there? This, the idea of dating is to learn people. Why? What are you doing? Where are you going with this? Well, well, now you're asking me to show you how you can patch up and carry all these red flags home. You're hoping to conduct miracles? What is this? <laughs> yeah, I, want, uh, I want a miracle. You know, <laughs> why are you bothering me? Why, wh wh what are you doing? <laughs> Isn't this enough to make decisions on? <laughs> By the time you're getting worked up and sounding overwhelmed, and this is a relationship, <laughs> isn't that enough signal that you don't go? Where are we? <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> you know? <laughs> so, but I realize many of them think they are late. Yes. 26 late. I, don't, I, can, I can tell you why, <laughs> yes. Benjamin. First of all, when I was 24, I'm 33 now. When I was 24, my aunties were already asking me, where's your person? Where's your person? You're of age now. So by the time it's 25 and I've never brought a boyfriend home, there's pressure. You know. Yeah. So I kept realizing for them it's a misperception of the seasons they are in, mm -hmm. that they are late. Because yes. a lot of people have gotten married, they are into things, to babies, and you look like you are the only remaining in your girl group. Let's say you are mm -hmm. like 10 of you, mm -hmm. and you are the only remaining. So you are, your reference point is so sick. <laughs> Please, make sure you get a healthy reference group. If you are following people yes. who are all of them drowning. Reference group, I love that. Yeah. yeah. The people we hang around, they become our source of ideas and energy. Okay. The first reason people end into this so degrading mistreatment, things you can't even uh, testify. You know that people go to Tuko to show how they were mistreated? <laughs> yeah. Some of the things people do to you, you can't even tell the world. You can't tell You feel Tuko. like you're reviving the, the ridicule. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you're bringing back the shape. Ah, uh, you, it's all you. Yeah. <laughs> you know? And even your family gets embarrassed for you. <laughs> you know? You know, so the first reason is because you married from your own cocoon okay. of naivety. Okay. The, the the solution to that is to always, even if you don't have another big reason to wait, hmm? mm -hmm. because you're in twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, asking what are you waiting for? Even if you don't, you don't have another reason to wait, mm. just wait so that you can see the world a little bit. Yes. You won't lose anything. Yes. Trust you me, you don't lose anything. Mm. You, you okay? I'm okay. And one, one way to avoid the pressures of aunties is to, to be scanty at home. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. Stop going home every weekend. You know, you, got, you, <laughs> you created that pressure by being too visible. Oh. I, I, I had to craft survival. But we love our people. You do, but I'm just saying, once you become a grown-up with a life, create another support group here. Right. Because we used to go home because you feel tired, you want to rest. Yes. Let me just go home and rest. Yes. Avoid that. Because now you can longer rest. Because you have questions to answer there. 
<laughs> you're going for exams and interviews. <laughs> yes. And you can't afford to appear with a colleague. Anyone. Yeah. You're wondering, is this the one? It's very embarrassing. Yeah, you go with anyone and uh, who is that? This is very embarrassing. They start treating a person special and you have to correct them. <laughs> Imagine now your mom has already taken a post of son-in-law has come. Yeah. <laughs> this is already cool. This is a random and... Jimmy who happened to be around to say, hey, <laughs> I'm also bored. Come we cook Ugali. So you <laughs> Jimmy tagged along for you to cook <laughs> Ugali. And now your mother has assumed this is this must be the son-in-law. And now she's asking, following, you are uncomfortable there. And mommy is trying to evaluate. Now where are we going with my people? And where is that? Which side is that home? Now, uh, another another friend to mommy shows up and another one. And now there is, a, you know, something is building up. And we're like, hey, <laughs> just please. <laughs> yeah. You know, it reached a point they could not afford to be seen with a lady. <laughs> I, I had to be making sure we had at least three <laughs> to neutralize so the, the atmosphere. <laughs> and to make sure we draw in irrelevant stories to show that we are not dating. You know, they say you can bring an unrelated story just to, to answer what is in people's heads indirectly before it comes up. You know, like just in, in emphasizing that you hope one day you get. I mean, we are still working on that. Yeah. Just, just somehow to, to diffuse the tension. Diffuse, yeah. You know, the first reason you get so pressurized until you're rushing is because when the seasons changed, uh -huh. you did not change where you're getting your comfort from. Because after, yes. after, after a week of fatigue, and you want a break. And mm. you automatically, when you're in college, break was home. Home, yeah. Stop breaking to home. To find another. No, break to climb in Mount Kilimanjaro. Join the scout group. Hikes. Yeah, yeah. group. Yeah. <laughs> join this campus. Jo yeah. Join this guy to go camping, who go biking, anything. Even professional groups yes. do a lot of activity. And there's a free you know those people Aboretum, go to rest yes people are, okay. <laughs> you discover those things out of necessity <laughs> a place where there are no questions all of you are question marks so you're not asking each other questions when you go at home you are the only question mark <laughs> your mom is being asked is it time now yeah when your mom is being asked as she forwards the question hey, people were asking me <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. For, for the one thing is, you married a person you did not know, mm. and you assumed that they cannot uh, go that low. Uh, point number two is that you 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 mistake being trusting with being naive. Why would such a thing go on for years? Why would it go on and you do not detect mm. what is happening? Yeah, what's because you, you thought when you trust people, you should not be alert, you should not be vigilant. You do not have the duality in your head that you should both be trusting. You don't police people, but you also listen to your intuition, listen to your instinct. Yes. And whenever you see anything shady, you should come close and look. Yes. Even when you trust the people you have employed with your assets, you don't stay away forever. No, you don't. You, you trust to. them, but this is still your, ultimately, this is your investment. Yes. You just pop in without yes. having to report to people. Yes. That is due diligence. You're just being prudent. Mm. And they know you do pop. So they stay knowing both poses up, yeah. Pop, pops up. You can show up. You just come and look. So they stay on toes as well. The, let me tell you, what you own should be yours. When you invest your life with me, your, 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 your future, your love, your reputation, everything, it's okay you trust, but you should not sit back and forget. Somebody should not have sacred cows, and yet you have given them your life. That their workplace is a curfew for you. You should not set mm. your foot there. That... There's something you don't touch, a phone you don't touch. Mm. You know, communications are always the weak point of affairs. Yes. It's the easiest thing to find. Yes. You may not hear them talking, but you can track the conversation after they're done talking. Oh, yeah. what? How? You may not catch them red-handed. Mm. That takes harder work. Y yes, <laughs> or some good luck. You know, or a, bad lot, luck. a lot of investigation and... Yeah, when I get the family. Mm, many, tension. Many people don't do those investments because they can't control their feelings. Yes. Thank you for mentioning that. When you know it's, it's possible, you're exploding already. Yes. And to compose yourself and investigate without showing signs. Yes. And wait for an opportunity. That's like hunting. 
and you know many of us are not trained i feel like also you have to have been trained for that <laughs> you know so honestly benjamin <laughs> you know sometimes somebody said you, you thought you're you just going to marriage and family only to realize you signed up for a class in investigations yeah. a part-time cia <laughs> FBI. <laughs> FBI. <laughs> yeah, you know. Now you have to learn that there are softwares that can tell you how people talk to you without them knowing. <laughs> that there are signs you can add one plus one. And one guy said the clue that gave him that his wife could be cheating was mm. very strange. What? Because she suddenly uh, started making another meal. It, 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 it look okay like a lady is trying another recipe. Uh -huh. And she just came up with a craving out of the blues. <laughs> <laughs> of something they hardly made. Just imagine a fish like salmon. A fish usually, not yeah. the omena we have been making on the tilapia. This yeah. time what? Salmon. salmon. Made with a particular way they make milk. A particular way to make it. That yeah. was almost exotic. Oh. And then, when a few weeks later he happened to be at the home of one, uh, another guy there in the group, <laughs> discovered that is his favorite recipe. Where? Uh, what is this? Do you like this dish? And if recently it was introduced. It was in my house. That is far-fetched. Somebody may learn it from online, isn't it? Yes. But when you know this person is in our space and, yeah. and the air... Be now, his eyes opened to start looking. And then he's seeing micro gestures. Where? So sometimes what the intuition or the connection in things that are almost unrelated, mm. what they're inviting you to look. You can't now say I'm divorcing you because I hear you introduced a meal that our friend also introduced. Yeah. You can't pick it up as a conclusion. Yeah. But it invites you to look closer. So then, quietly with a lot of disturbance, most men are capable of containing themselves. You yes. must give men that credit. Yes. <laughs> I have seen it. You know, <laughs> men can see a problem and uh, 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 they are cool. Hey, men. Men are <laughs> you know poker. They have the perfect poker face. <laughs> so... He, he carried normally, he said, it troubles you, but when you imagine that guy with your woman, you feel because <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but you, you can't just start cooking things, because if you blow up, they will hide. Yeah. They can even hold for a while, you know? Yes. When you blow up too early, people can postpone. Yeah. <laughs> and lie low, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? And then you live with a doubt. Was it there or was it not there? And you have already been made the crazy one. Now you have to say sorry for what you know. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Escalation. <laughs> and so, uh -huh. for him, lucky for him, he was able to compose himself and take his time. Uh -huh. So, uh, to, to observe. So, the clues were so minor, he needed to be very keen to see. Keen to see because until they started deleting their WhatsApp uh, conversation. conversation. That was the next clue. Oh. So that... The, the, the chat and then they almost vanished the chat vanished yeah, you can tell yeah you know yeah but you can see a call log happening and yeah. you know, there's nothing going on between us but the call log is not there he had to go to the communicate he had to find a way to penetrate uh -huh. check how much this number <laughs> is talking to this one <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> you know yeah. and somehow she knew where that when that family is around a conversation come up uh, and so and so I, I think they are not yet come back they had gone home. Oh. How do you know so carefully that they have not come back? Yeah. And we're not seeing each other daily. Uh -uh. So a clue here, a clue there. Okay. Eventually was able to pin it. But he told me it took me four excruciating months. Where? <laughs> Even one week is a lot. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And that's why I complimented the guy for taking his time. Yeah. And containing himself. Sometimes you are being cheated for so long because you think when you are faithful, you should not investigate. You don't become a police, but you keep alert. Do you know when you are honest, nature helps you. That's true. When you are sincerely being yes. loyal and faithful, yes. you don't need to go overboard no. to see signs. Mm. You, people, okay. uh, Sigmund Freud said human beings cannot lie. If they don't tell the secret in their mouth, their fingers will talk. If their fingers will talk, their body will talk. Something, stiffness, some, some, something something yes. when they're doing something wrong and it is exciting that mm. excitement will peep mm. but i've met some psychopaths who can lie like very naturally unflinching and you can't tell the line between the lie and the truth but if they're in your life continually you know they lied isn't it yes yes you see what they said is not what happened 
Yes. You came to find them. They can't lie forever. Remember, we are, we are explaining today, we are not saying why you're being cheated on. We are saying, why would it happen for years and you don't detect? Okay, okay. All right? So, and it has levels of disrespect that are disgusting. Mm -hmm. This person is cheating on you with a person who is your subordinate. Mm. And, yeah. and, 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 and making you feel like you are not that special in any case. Showing your nakedness, yeah. exposing, mm -hmm. you know? There's a whole show we did, uh, what to do when, a, when they bring the, 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 the cheating to your bedroom. The insult, the ultimate insult to the holy of holy, the sacred place of a marriage. Mm. They bring another person there, mm. and we say, those people have that kind of capacity as psychopaths, they are not normal. You should uh, feel sorry for yourself for marrying a sick person. And you should correct your mistake quickly, without saying, my partner cheated. You should say, the psychopath. I found myself with. <laughs> no more people cannot go that far. <clears throat> uh, Benjamin, I've met a number of well-to-do, you, you know, I, I'm struggling to say this, gentlemen of good repute <laughs> who have gone that direction. Yes, because you have misused that word. <laughs> the gentlemen, just say men. <laughs> okay, from what they look like. Okay. It looks like it's a gentleman of good repute, good job, some of them can even be a pastor. And when they get issues in their marriage, I don't know if that is also something that feeds. When they have issues in their marriage, they, you know, they will confess secretly that they have been with someone else on the matrimonial bed. And so there's that. Uh, is there that? that was so let's go marriage? to the reason number three. Mm -hmm. Why many people end up cheating in the house is because the one they're cheating with is in the house. The house is the okay. only space they're meeting around. <laughs> for other people, you may have to organize dates. Yes. For this house assistant, she's in the house. Very convenient. So it ends up being a place of convenience and in their in the emotions and all that. And one guy was found by the daughter, not the wife. Doing what? <laughs> with a maid so <laughs> you know the damage in that family you can imagine the catastrophic degree of damage and then the wife is one these these women who have never suspected that's the language they use yeah because they thought there was an incident back then but we got to buy another one but we got to buy that one we sort of this one i'm not sure me i decided i don't want to look too much let me just live my life the comfort and oh, denial. <laughs> the comfort and denial. Yes. So the third reason this happens is when you are so distanced from your workers that you can't see nuances. Oh. Energy change. Let me tell you one thing. A person who is cheating on you with your partner cannot behave normal. Okay. They cannot behave normal. When you are watchful, you will see. Mm. But most women are antagonistic to their subordinates, to their, oh. to their junior. Mm. They come at them with force. Mm. Leaving the other guy to be the comforter. Leaving it that mm. she will seek solace and elsewhere. Or that energy will make it look like when the guy just greets, he is now kind. It's opposed to you, Where? who is not kind. This yeah. does not justify cheating, but I'm telling you, the psychology of some cheap women who don't have self-respect, mm. who don't have dignity, who, who can go as far as crossing the boundaries with a person who, who, are, who has given them a chance at a job, mm. who has trusted them with their life, yes. to go that far. Yes. Something Joseph said, that I cannot do this thing and violate the trust. Oh, my boss has not withheld anything from me except mm. you because you're his wife. Mm. He has trusted me too much to do this. Mm. When people trust you with their babies, what else in this world could they trust you with? When people have trusted you to feed them, to cook. Imagine. To, 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 to handle their delicate baby, the, their jewel. Yeah. What they value more than even their job they have gone to. Mm. I think even times we don't, re we don't understand the delicate relationship and special relationship we have with domestic managers. Yes. They are handling our treasures. Yes. They are handling everything we have accumulated in this world. Yes. Our children, our treasures, our name, our wife, everything. That's where we are when we are not in suits. Mm -hmm. That's where we go when we are in our just most vulnerable state. Yeah. They feed us. <laughs> they can eat. They had to all babies. Their, our life is somehow in their hands. I tell you the truth. 
and I was asking women, why would you, be, why would you bring the antagonism to a person you have trusted with everything? Are you not just shooting your foot? Mm. And we are not justifying the horrible things. We have seen this house help sometimes they, some take out on the, on the innocent children. Yeah. The child is caught in a crossfire. Mm. An innocent baby, there is a crossfire. Between the parent and the nanny. Yes. And remember the nanny is not a dream job. It's a, it's a consequence of a bad situation. Yes. Or somebody trying to make something as they move on to the next level. Mm. Developed countries don't have that job position. It's not there. Mm. It's not there. Developed countries, there's no nanny. If you want domestic manager, you pay per hour. Yeah. It's even better for you to skip work some hours. Yeah. And be, you are going to pay something more than what you're paid. Yes. <laughs> so yes. Remember, this is a consequence of a bad background. These mm. people are already traumatized by the things they went through. Yes. These people are not as educated. They don't have much in life. Yes. They're doing this to get by, to mm. step on a stone and go to the next level. Yes. When circumstances are ideal, when economy is mature, these petty jobs disappear. You handle mm. your baby. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> you your car. Yeah. These small jobs you see here, they disappear. <laughs> they are, nobody's available to do that. If you're yeah. going to pay them per hour, it's not even economical. Yeah. Just bring your mother from Africa yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to babysit for you. Mm -hmm. You hold back, let me go. Maybe we shift, we do things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we do things. Mm -hmm. This is to say, sometimes you get this thing going on for years because you are, you're very unapproachable and antagonistic. Mm -hmm. You look down on juniors instead of being friendly. When you're friendly to them and polite to them, mm -hmm. kind with them, it does not mean you're accommodating everything. It, it gives you a chance to observe their emotional language, their body language. Yes. It gives you approachability. It increases chances that you'll be, you will know when something is going on. Because many of them will tell you the truth because, because they say you're being too kind to me. I cannot hide the truth from you. Yeah. And remember many times they are caught between two. Mm -hmm. If they speak, they may lose their job. If mm -hmm. they speak, they may be punished by you. If they speak, may be victimized. If they speak, they become scapegoat. Many times they keep quiet because of that. Yeah. When it comes to the work side, where the man is working away, you may not be there to look. You may not be there to observe and see what they're doing with the people they're working with. And you may not be following them to office every time. But again, when you know your person, you can tell when energy is shifting. You can tell when they are avoidant mm. of your intimate moments. When they are just shallow. Mm. You can tell when another person is occupying their conversation and their mind more. Yeah. You can tell when that name is popping up accidentally in their mouth. Yes. Yes. You, you can tell when the, the person is calling and the person does not receive with ease, like they're receiving other calls. Yeah. They are tensed. There are some people when they're with you, they always put a speaker. But yes. this one, they don't put a speaker. They turn away slightly to hear. Mm. <laughs> or they refuse to pick. Yes. Yeah. And there's no reason that they're refusing to pick. Yeah, yeah. If you're observant and present mentally, you can tell when a person is having the energy is going elsewhere. Mm. You, don't have, you don't need to, to, to know all the information at once, but you can tell. You can tell. And some of these women go as far as leaving signals, accidentally or otherwise, that they are around. Yeah, they do. Because <laughs> also their ego, they, they want yes. to... You know, women are territorial. Yeah. So even when it's a secret, the yeah. woman still, at the back of her mind, instinctively she wants to mark her territory. And you can see a person who is dressing up too much today. They usually mm. don't dress this much. But you see, usually you have to push them to groom the beard. Touch. But there are days they are taking their time to do that without your incentive. What is going on? Where? And then when you link up where they are going those days, there's a particular person who is common. Yes. Who is in that outing? Who is in that trip? Who is in that meeting? Yeah. You may not know who it is, but you can see the occasions when their energy is changing. And this is how men have been able to detect because women know how to keep secrets better. But uh, we have been educating ourselves as men. <laughs> we don't want to remain helpless. Really? Women know how to keep secrets better than men? They keep better, men? yes, because they are, their life is all over. Oh, okay. The lives of men is straight line. So From we, work we to home. If a man has a detour, there's a reason. He was seeing, I don't know who. Okay. Women have a hundred things to run. You remember they have three concurrent jobs? Yes. From the baby and yeah. the clothes and you pick and the shopping at the supermarket and the, the mama chama and say, so women can go in zigzags and there's yeah. a valid reason for all the movements. Yes. By the time a man goes in zigzags, he's already yeah. suspicious. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. left home and you took so long to come. Oh, I caught up with Agna so and so and she knows why and so and so and so. The, the, she she wrote text that we at mm -hmm. home in the group. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So the, the, those are the three reasons, if you ask me, and, 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 and all of them boil down to be conscious 
even while you are choosing people, don't assume they're faithful and honest. Mm -hmm. When you see a pattern of lying, respect it. Number two, when you when 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 when, when you have workers and they're under you, don't even post, don't load it over them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Be firm and kind. You don't become too easy that they're assuming you, but neither do you become distant and tension. Cold. Mm. When you're close and you're greeting them and seeing their facial expression, you can see a person who is avoiding you. Mm. When you just almost came in, almost, you can see an air that is trying to clear. Yes, yes. Where are they palpitating? Where, where, where are they panicking? Where are they clumsy all of a sudden? Yes. Yeah. What is that body language? Mm. Where are they avoiding mm -hmm. eye contact? Mm. Even uh, to prolong now the conversation to watch the drama. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, let me ask. Yes. Uh, there's another sign when your spouse loses interest in you. Yeah. And sometimes they say it's work or they're stressed about something or they're stressed about their health. But should that also be a trigger for investigation? Yes, it's uh, uh, we said when smoke alarm goes off it does not mean the house is burning. Mm. To me there is smoke around. The smoke could be coming from something you can control. Okay. That 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 uh, some that was just a fo food that went to was forgotten on the jiko. Yeah. So when you when you see smoke alarm, you're supposed to come close and look. Mm -hmm. People don't quote job as an excuse to stay away. You are aware of what what is going on in the job, and you should be part of it, isn't it? Yes. They cannot say it is a stress because you should be part of their life, and they should share their stresses with you. Mm -hmm. Anytime people are not sharing a stress with you, it's not a stress; it's a secret. Whenever they say I'm not talking to you because I'm stressed over something, you replace that word stress with secret. Because even in those affairs, they also quarrel. Mm. They have quarreled with a side person. Yes. <laughs> and they have to pretend like it's another thing I should not tell you. No. Are we doing life together or not? Why would you want to shut me out? I'm not ready yet. I'll get there. A day has gone and another one. And you're not in your element. And you're telling me. And you, you, you notice, you just pass it wow that is unbelievable but let me see how far you play with that there are women who will go for months and some some even years <clears throat> some have reported years without ever being intimate with their husbands because their husbands suddenly just lost interest yeah and there's another one we call context specific erectile dysfunction <laughs> okay okay uh-huh context only specific yeah. where they, hey, un they only have the dysfunction when they're at home <laughs> when they're at home <laughs> out there they're excited about everybody else Ooh, except you yeah. this is yeah. mental this is attitude yeah and you know sex is very psychological when people have a feeling a certain kind of way they, they can they may not just not rise to the occasion mm. because they don't respect you enough yeah or the position you occupy is it's holy, and the kind of sex appetite they have is unholy. That's a possibility. Yes. Nowadays, men are being raised on pornography. Yeah. The introduction to sex we are getting is from porn. That's and porn is about lust and domination and power and inflicting. and It's not about connection. So when marriage is based on genuine connection and care for another, mm. a person who's consuming too much porn will not respond. Yeah. There's no care in porn. It's compassion. Yeah. There's no connection there. It's 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 subduing. And living in a fantasy world. I mean people have been making it sound like a porn is an option or you can just jack it off, those kind of things. It twists your mind. The same psychology, and nothing would get into that. Yeah. But the psychology of watching other people doing the act of sex mm. does not translate to you doing it. So you may be getting worked up by see watching others when it mm. comes to you to do it with a human person mm. in flesh and blood. You don't have the stamina. You yeah. don't have the mental infrastructure mm -hmm. and the energy. Mm -hmm. Even you have so much guilt for watching those kind of things that you feel incompetent. Mm -hmm. And you end up uh, uh, winding up as soon as you start up. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good way to put it. So I, people who have watched you for a long time, yeah. we know what you will say. But just for the newcomers, once you've looked for the trouble and you found it, what do you do? We have another show we'll discuss what to do after affair, but we said you don't always jump out, but you don't you don't become easy to be walked on. Mm -hmm. And we say sometimes instead of walking out, you make them walk out. Aha. Uh -huh. I've already gotten established in my life. 
Yeah, the one who went out, continue going up. Only this time, don't come back. In Kikuyu, we have a phrase called Vyokyo Maga. <laughs> <laughs> Go drying. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so it, it will depend on the circumstances, but many <coughs> times is do not tolerate disloyalty. Yeah. Yes. Thank you, Benjamin. All this and all those things that cause our hearts to break and cause us to not be able to achieve our best self will be discussed in the healing conference, which will be at the Utali Hotel on the 10th of June, 10 to 5 p.m. Lunch and beverages will be provided. To book your ticket, please WhatsApp the number on your screen. That's it for this episode. Bye. This is the Benjamin Zulu Global. Welcome our viewers from all over the world to the home of the heart moments. We are converging to learn together because when you know better, you can do better. And a better life is what we all want. Better work life, 